This enough? What would you like tonight, sweetie? Huh? Whatever this will get me. Looks like you have about 500 even here. It's okay, but I can only give you the bare minimum. Let's go get us a room. I'll wait in the car, just come back when you have the room number. Best to go in separately, not draw attention. I have to pay for the room too? Yeah, I'm not running a charity here. That's all I have. <sighs> okay. Can't even go back out there. Usually no one but crackheads at this time of night. I think the seats adjust. Cold? I brought you a jacket. Thanks. Do you need a ride home? I usually spend the night in the motel room, but since you can't afford one, yeah, I do. That's not a problem. So what's your deal? What do you mean? You're willing to put down 500 bucks for me but can't put down 80 bucks for the room? And don't tell me you left your credit card at home. Guys like you always have a spare in their glove box. For stuff like this. Your wife in charge of the credit card statements or something? I don't have a wife. What are you doing paying for it then? You could use a shave and some social skills, but you're not totally disgusting. Shit. Sensitive too. Sorry. What's your name? Mine's Mandy. Liam. Sorry. I haven't really talked to anyone in a while. All right. Guess we're back to being a weirdo. I don't know what your deal is. You probably stole the damn car. You mind dropping me off at my friend's place now before the cops find it? Better yet, I'll just grab an Uber. It's not that far. Here's your jacket. You gonna shoot me again today? <laughs> what? Uh, I surrendered yesterday. Guess that makes me your hostage. <laughs> right. 
Uh, sorry, I'm Harper, by the way. Liam. Can I sit with you? Sure. Okay. So... Um, I walk through this beach like every day. Um, usually before shifts at work. And, uh, you know, I know all of the regulars around here and you don't look like a tourist, so you have anything to confess? <laughs> what? I just got into town yesterday. Oh. Uh, what are you doing here? You a uh, gambler, skier? We're about six months away from getting any powder on the slope, so... If so, I have some bad news for you. <laughs> I guess I'm just passing through town. Am I bothering you? Because if I am, I can go find someone else to bother. No, you're not bothering me. So, I work at this place, Jack's. It's a diner. It's like, you know, just up the road, a town over. Um, but I'm really studying to become a vet. And uh, I was taking some community college classes and uh, I just kind of felt stuck, you know? It, I just didn't feel like I was making any progress. So I quit and I've just been trying to like save up money ever since to go to an accredited college. Oh, hey, um, do you want a job? We're actually looking for a short order cook. <laughs> I don't need a job. Oh, you already have one. What do you do? I didn't say I have one. I said I don't need a job. How do you pay your bills? I don't have any bills. If I see something and I want it, I take it. <laughs> okay. Uh, how is that working out for you? <laughs> Fairly well so far. Okay. Why'd you come over here? Uh, what do you mean? I mean, do I look like one of your wounded animals that needs fixing or saving? <laughs> well, you kind of do. <laughs> uh, no, I mean, uh, good reference. You're a good listener. Uh, I don't have many friends. And I never talk to strangers, so I was like, maybe I should just try it. What's the worst that could happen? That's what my therapist says. Uh, but also she's never been kidnapped or murdered, so what does she know? Oh boy. Um, I should go to work. Um, you know, I gotta change and get ready for my shift and all that. But uh, yeah, if you're ever getting tired of the whole good life and you wanna join us back in the working class with the rest of us losers, you know where to find me. I could put in a good word uh, for you with my manager. Uh, just don't mention the whole gypsy lifestyle thing. Managers hate that. <laughs> Bye. I didn't expect you to come. Are you here for a job or? No, I don't really know how to cook. Oh, you just throw burgers on a grill, fries in a fryer, a monkey could do it. I guess I'll think about it. And why did you come? Okay, weirdo, Um, you know, I have like a half hour lunch break. Do you wanna go for a walk or something? Okay. 
Okay. Cool. Um, I'm gonna grab a couple things and then I'll be right back. Okay. So what are you doing here? I don't know. I mean, I didn't really have anything planned today, so. No, I mean like here in Tahoe. Do you have like a family cabin or something? No. No, my family used to live in Sacramento. Um, but I fucking hated there, so. <laughs> yeah. I just hit the road and headed east. Used to live. In another life. Ah. Wife? Girlfriend? No. Never had either. Wait, really? Really. Bounce around base to base, country to country, and... Kinda... I don't know. I mean, I've been to parties and whatnot, but... It just seemed like... What's the point in settling down if you're just gonna pick up and move in a couple of days? You know? Yeah. No, like... Well... <laughs> you spent pretty much your whole adult life in uh, the service, right? So it makes sense. Pretty much, yeah. That's about all I know, so you might as well say my entire life. Why'd you leave? The war in Afghanistan ended. Right, <laughs> I knew that. Uh, so were you infantry or? Sniper. Oh. One of the best. Okay. Okay, so. Do you see that woman and, and the guy with her? I see her. From this distance, could you hit them? Yeah, I could park around right between her eyes and she'd never <laughs> even know. That's so cool. Has everyone, has anyone ever told you you shouldn't smoke? <laughs> Thanks for the milkshake. Uh, I'll get the next one. No, no, I didn't mean to offend you. I like having the company. I don't usually get to eat with anyone on my lunch break, so I'm glad you're here. This town sucks, right? People come in from the big city, get hammered and spend the weekend on the lake or get hammered and spins a day on the slopes. At the end, they pack up all their stuff, head back to the big city, and just kind of leave us all in the dust, back to their miserable jobs. I'm sorry. What's the matter? I need to stop complaining. It's not like my life is much better at all. And people certainly don't need to hear me bitching about it. So, are you interested in the job? I can introduce you to the manager. He's a veteran too. I know that he'd love you. And it wouldn't be forever. It's just part time. I don't have a place to stay. I, no, I have a, I am renting a room for my friends and she has a couple extra rooms in the house, and she's been looking for tenants. But you'd have to take the job first. Um, I don't deal with moochers anymore. I had to learn the hard way with um, this guy. Okay. Is that okay? Okay. okay. Um, great. But other than that, um, my roommates are gonna be home in like six days. And then after that, you can start paying rent. Uh, if they approve of you. <laughs> Sound good? All right, this is the place. Let me show you my room. Let's start there. So this is my room. <laughs> uh, it's where I'm normally not this much of a slob. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, you caught me on and off. 
day. What are you doing? Cleaning. It's a mess in here. How do you uh, how do you find anything or Thanks, get any work done? But I'm just gonna clean it later. Okay. Um, why don't I show you the living room? And uh, you can sleep on the couch tonight, and we'll figure out something in the morning. Great. It's just. So, you were in the military since you were like 18, right? So do you know how to do like adult stuff? Like do your taxes or like pay a credit card bill? No, I never had to do any of that shit. Huh. No, that's cool. I can, I can totally help you with that. Jesus, really? So they had you just fighting for like 15 years straight. They didn't make me do anything I didn't want to do. After a few months, if it didn't become second nature, I wouldn't have wanted to leave anyways because I liked it so much. <laughs> what, you're like killing people? <laughs> yeah, when they're bad. Oh. <clears throat> um, don't you get like a government pension or something for your service? Yeah, or? but I don't want to talk about it. Okay. Uh, are you excited, um, for work tomorrow? No, not really. I never wanted a normal job. You've never had a normal job. I wouldn't want one anyway. People like you don't seem to be too happy with them. People like me? Yeah, you even said so yourself earlier. I just want to fight. Oh. Well, civilians don't really do stuff like that here. We have like laws and stuff to keep people from getting killed. I know. Um, you, uh, you must be exhausted. Um, so I'm gonna let you grab some sleep. Um, and I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Night. Was the gun loaded when you pointed it at me? What were you even doing with that thing? I do not feel comfortable with that in my house. It was my service pistol. It's the last piece of me I have left. 
why did you feel the need to be playing with it in the middle of the night? I couldn't sleep. It relaxes me. I'll tell you what. As long as I'm in this house, I'll let you hold on to it. Really? It's not loaded, is it? There's no way I could accidentally shoot myself. Because if anyone could, it would be me. No, I cleared and checked it twice. It's heavier than I thought it would be. Don't do that. Sorry. That smells so good. I made extra. How'd you sleep? Like 45 minutes. You almost gave me a heart attack last night. I know. I really am sorry. <laughs> yeah, well, I won't tell if you don't. <coughs> Jesus, did you make this? Sorry again. Um, we used to have to be up on watch for 48 hours sometimes, and pet pills worked a bit better, but you didn't want to be caught with any kind of drugs in camp. So, you do not have to be into the diner until three. What are your plans today? I don't make plans. All right, let's hear it. Whenever I make plans, they fall through. Whenever I start a relationship, it falls apart. I've had to learn to not have any kind of footprint. That way, no one can catch up to me and do me any kind of harm. You need therapy. It just makes sense to me. Like, I prefer it that way. Everything dies anyways. I'm just saving myself the inevitable bullshit misery. No, no, it makes sense. Make yourself miserable first and... I'm not miserable. Really? Look, if you give yourself nothing, then that's what you become happy with. Nothing. It becomes the normal for you. <laughs> there's, there's more to life than nothingness. <laughs> there was, at one point. I used to protect people so they could have their normal lives. Do the things they couldn't do or wouldn't do. I gave them that privilege. How do you like it? Your normal life. Fine. Really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Bullshit. Women don't walk up to random men on the beach and start a conversation unless they're unhappy with something in their lives. Sure they do. Nope. Never happened to me before yesterday. Well, you don't have a normal life, do you? Uh... <clears throat> uh, so, what about friends back home? I don't believe in the whole do nothing, be nothing story, so, friends? I used to have friends in middle school. I don't know. We just kind of drifted apart and I never reached out. What about parents or family? They might be dead for all I know. I got up to the house that I used to live in and I didn't knock. I just turned around and started walking. We used to fight a lot. I didn't exactly leave for overseas on good terms. Well, what about... Uh... Military buddies. Aren't you supposed to be like lifelong friends and blood brothers or something? <laughs> there was one guy. His name was Will Talley. 
And ladies and gentlemen, it is a sweltering hot day out here. We've got the U.S. Army against Reggie and the Ragheads, and it looks like they are trying to load up on base two. <laughs> at your two o'clock. And... <laughs> got him! <laughs> boys and girls, we have no tall boys, we have no nachos, but fuck do we have brains. That is a freshly painted base. We are losing daylight. You want me to radio back to base? No. Let's wait it out another 30 minutes. That's what Sarge will say. I think we got bad intel on Fazad. Ain't no fucking way he comes through here. Not with all the commotion and gunfire. Well, he's got no choice. If he wants to get back to his base, he's got to cut through here to get back there. Unless he waits till nightfall and lets the black bear rip his fucking arms off. Mm, good. He'd save us some ammo. Yeah, well, you want to risk it? Fuck. All right, where the hell's that coming from? Fuck. Three smiles. 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock, just on the rock there. That's a man. Boys and girls, that is, in fact, a kill shot. Yeah, see what happens when you talk too fucking loud? Oh, yeah, it's the sound of my voice carrying. It has nothing to do with your big old fucking boomstick. Any word on facade yet? Negative, sir. We've been taking off stragglers and party goers that have been drawn to our gunfire for the last few hours, but no sign of Big Papa yet. Grab your fucking suppressor before you leave base next time. Give it 30 more minutes and head back to camp. It's getting late. Copy that, sir. Over and out. Yep, 30 minutes. What'd I tell you? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Blow me. You'd fucking like that, wouldn't you? I would, Daddy. You like calling me Daddy, you fucking queer. I do. It gets me off. Hang on, hang on. Don't they? Give me eyes. Fucking two o'clock, that's gotta be him. Oh, shit, I see him. He's wearing explosives. Okay, so you wanna introduce him to his 72 fat fucking virgins? Bunch of fat boys playing Call of Duty covered in Cheeto dust? Well, that's fucking lootly, but how far out are we? Is the blast gonna cook us? Yeah, no fucking clue. Why don't you grab that boomstick and split that pinata? What happens if we let him through? Nothing major. He gets a handful more party boys. They put on their party vests. They blow up a bunch of our guys, bury some IEDs, kill a lot of people. No big deal. Yeah. No, you want me to tell the CO that you missed the shot because you were changing your tampon at that time of the month? Eh, probably not. I hate fucking parties. Fuck me. Fuck me. Hey, yo. Fuck, you couldn't aim for the head? Well, sure, but... Where's the fun in that? <laughs> <laughs> All right, buddy, let's pack it up. <laughs> Got the best view in town. You've been scoping me since the day we met. Hey. Not a spotter for nothing. Spotted a spotter, huh? Hey, so we're on the same page. When we get back and give the CO our report, I get the kill, right? Bullshit. This is the first time you've touched that fucking gun all day. Oh, come on, I spotted him. If it weren't for me, you'd still be out in the brush yanking your wiener, looking for the ever-elusive scaly fleshlight. Fang, for your pleasure. Oh, really? Yeah. Let's yank on this. You wouldn't. Huh? You <laughs> son of a bitch. You motherfucker. <laughs> you fucking, you want to give away our position again? Relax, you fucking pussy. We haven't seen a towel head for three miles. Fucking dick. Besides, I haven't missed a shot since 2013. Yeah, I mean, it's 2013. Fuck. Now dance, you varmint! Oh, I love watching that ass move. And bounce a quarter off it.
Um, I'm looking for someone. Um, I, I'm looking for the contact information um, of someone named William Talley. Yeah, let, let's start in California. How many? Oh, um, okay, can you, can I just, can you, can you start to give me the numbers then? Yes, I've heard of the internet. Conrad and I'm calling looking for Will Talley. Do you know someone named Liam Stillman? Hi, my name is Harper Conrad. I'm a friend of Liam Stillman's. I'm looking for William Talley. Who is this? Like I said, my name is Harper. I'm a friend of Liam Stillman's. Do you know him? What does he want? Wait, you know Liam? What does he want? Oh! Oh my god! Okay! Okay, I'm sorry. It's been a really long day. Um, Liam, Liam's really not, he's not doing good, and, um... You're... You're the only person he's ever really talked about, so, uh, I... I'm calling you. Look, I appreciate the call, but I really need to get home. Can you tell me anything about him? You're his, you're his best friend. He said that? Yes. Well, kind of. Um, he, he's mentioned you. Uh, you're the only person he's ever mentioned, like, as someone who's been a part of his life. Like, I think he has nobody. But you, you actually talked to him? Hey, where did he end up? I, I haven't seen or heard from him in years. I just assumed he died. And he talked about it all the time, especially when he talked about going home. Yeah, so um, he kind of lives with me. Um, it's new. I live, uh, I live up in Lake Tahoe. Um, I met him on the shoreline there. And, okay, so here's what happened. So I met him there and he didn't have a job. And so I was like, you can have a job at the diner that I work at. Uh, he didn't show up for the first shift at the diner. I, I don't know if he's coming back. I mean, his, his crap's still in my house, so. But what exactly do you want from me, Harper? Yeah, totally. So um, I was thinking that, that, um, that maybe you could, uh, I, I saw you had a, Bay Area um, area code. Um, so maybe you could drive up to me, to my place. Your place, in Tahoe. I mean, that's not too far, but I can't exactly just drop everything here and drive over there. I have a full-time job, a wife, two kids. Yeah, um, no, I, I could pay for your gas. I could pay for half your gas. All right, okay, 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 Harper. So you'll come? I'll, I'll talk to my wife when I get home tonight. I'll see what I can do. Okay. Um, I, I gotta go now, Harper. Thank you. Mr. Will Talley. Thank you. Um, do you call me tonight? Maybe tonight? You're gonna tell me tonight? Look, I have your number now. now. I'll get back to you tonight and let you know either way, okay? Okay, um, bye, sir. Goodbye, Harper. Shit.
Big Jess. Jess. <laughs> Who left all the towels in the shower? Hey, Jess. Josh, is it you? No. Luke? Josh did it. I didn't. Okay, I don't care who did it. You guys need to clean it up first thing tomorrow morning. I mean it. Jess. Austin, mom's here. You have to go. Tell her not to be 45 minutes late next time, okay? Jess. Great. Hey Jess, do you want to go to Tahoe or not? I told Harper I'd give her an answer tonight. No, we can't go to Tahoe. Who is this woman again? Her name is Harper Conrad. I've never heard of her before. She just called me up out of the blue today, crying her eyes out. I think Liam went off the deep end. You don't owe that guy a goddamn thing. Well, actually, I kind of do. No, you don't. We've talked about this before. Besides, you want me to just go to Tahoe with you for the weekend and hang out with that asshole and this woman you don't even know? <laughs> How did you think this would go over with me? Look, it's one weekend. Monday's a holiday at the office. I already checked with the sitter to see if she's available to watch the kids this weekend, and she is, so what's the big deal? Jesus Christ. Three days now? You're actually considering this. If I don't go, and something happens, and it likely will, I don't need it on my conscience right now. So noble, Will. He's still an asshole. You're doing it for me, not him. Besides, you've never even met the guy before. You might actually like him. Now you just sound stupid. Jess, please, okay? Don't make me beg you. Fine. But if he even looks at me sideways, the gloves are coming off. Hey, you know what? Deal. In fact, I'll even hold him down so you can beat the shit out of him, okay? All right. This is getting just a little bit better. That hit my femoral artery, I won't last more than five nope, minutes. Don't even look at it. Eyes up. Ooh. Check my six. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Alright. Okay, cool. Yeah, well, good news. Didn't hit your femoral artery. Great news. Your dick's still attached. <laughs> if it hit your bone, it'd take your leg clean off. Eyes up. Watch my six. Eyes up. Eyes up. Don't look down. I'm gonna apply pressure here. Mm. Okay. Cool. It's gonna be tight. It's gonna be uncomfortable. Mm. Yep. Yeah, that's how you know it's working. Yeah. yeah. That's how you know it's working. Fucking shit. Yep. Here it comes. Here it comes. Oh. Yeah. You'll be fine. Jesus. Yeah. I'm gonna apply pressure here. Mm. Okay. That's cool. That's Fuck. good. That's good. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And it's gonna sting. Here we go. Oh, God damn it. Yep. <laughs> Uh, here we go, and one more, another cinch. Eyes up. Uh, yeah, eyes up. Fuck. Eyes up. Fuck. I know. Eyes up. All right. Cool. So we are four miles from the nearest medic. Oh fuck me. We're gonna have to walk this. Are you fucking shitting me? I can't walk on this. Well, I guess I'm just gonna have to carry your fat ass on my back, then, aren't I? Let's go. I need fuck. you to stand. 
William, I cannot stand on this. I don't need you to bear weight here. That's fine, uh, but I need you to put weight here. I will lift you with your other arm. Give me your arm. You're gonna put your weight on this leg. Do as I tell you. Let's go. Now, now or never. Oh. Up on that leg. Come on. Oh. 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 All right. Oh. Oh. Okay. 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 Too many really fucking MREs, huh? Uh, 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 if I trip, and my dick falls in your mouth. It was an accident. You're back. Yeah. I'm sorry. I, I was on my way to the diner, but I couldn't do it. Yeah, I know. My manager was so pissed that you didn't show up for your shift that they took my shift and gave it to someone else today. I'm, I'm sorry. I really wasn't trying to make you look bad. What did you expect? I vouched for you. I, I'm trying to do everything I can to help you out and you don't seem to give a shit. Here. What the hell's this? I felt bad for bailing on your boss, and so I wanted to make it up to you. I tried to win something big at the table so I could get you something nicer, but no luck. Went and spent my last quarter at the arcade for this. Look, I know it's not much, but I'm going to go to the diner tomorrow and explain to your boss what happened. I don't want you to lose your job over this. I have a surprise. I found Will Tally. What? Why would you do that? Because I wanted to talk to him about you. I barely know anything about you. How did you find him? I don't even know how to get a hold of him. Well, that took a long time. But it wasn't hard. It was just tedious. What did he say? Honestly, not much. Kind of like you, he... It's like pulling teeth, trying to get any valuable information from him. But he just texted, telling me that he's on his way here. What? On his way here? Yeah. Why? Why would he do that? Because I asked him to... You know, so you could have fun with an old friend. You know, normal civilian things. God, what now? Wait! Fuck. Liam! I don't know why I even bother trying to be fucking nice to you anymore! I don't know either. That's it? Look at my shitty fucking life! All I do is break my back all day long to make minimum wage. I won't be able to afford to go back to school until I'm 50. I have two friends that flew across the country, never came back, and we barely talk anymore. Oh, and I forgot, I had a fiance who died last year. So God forbid you're the one that I decide to talk to on the day I decide to put myself back out there again instead of chewing up some pills and taking a dirt nap because God knows I've wanted to. Look at me. I have nothing. I have nothing. But I'm trying. I'm trying with you. And you can't even tell me what your favorite fucking color is. I didn't know this was going to be a competition to see who has it worse. 
I guess you win. Feel better now? Go! Hi, um, the, hi, well, it's, um, Harper. Um, I, I don't know if it's a good idea for you to, um, stop by here anymore. Well, we've already been on the road for a few hours now, and the Airbnb I rented in Reno has no refunds. <sighs> I'm sorry. I just, I, I don't know what to do. I told him you were coming last night, and he got so angry, and he stormed out again and I, I don't know if he's coming back. I, I still have his stuff here. I, I have his gun and, and all of his belongings, so. All right, well, if you have his gun, he'll be back for it. I can tell you that much. <sighs> all right, listen, my wife and I are gonna finish up lunch here and then we'll check into the rental tonight. If Liam isn't back by tomorrow, we'll go looking for him. I'll text you the address once I hang up and you can meet us in the morning whether Liam is back or not. Everything's gonna be all right, okay? Harper? Okay. Um, sounds good. Sorry. This is a bad idea. Mm, you don't say. No, I always promised myself if he ever needed help, I'd give it to him. So? So, I have to honor my word. Do you ever get tired of being the good guy? Tell him to fuck off and disappear, just like he did to you whenever you tried to reach out to him after the war. It's a lot more complicated than that, Jess, and you know it. You don't owe him anything anymore. You have a new life now. Yeah, well, the reason you're living in a nice house right now, driving a Lexus and enjoying that Kobe beef mushroom Swiss is all because of him. Okay, there's no way I was making it to that medic on my own. You make it sound like that's the only thing that happened in the 10 years that you knew him. Besides. It's not that hard to survive a leg wound, Will. It's like the safest place to get shot. Jesus Christ. Okay, Jess, just totally misinterpret everything I just said. Okay. I'll behave and put on a happy face to the best of my abilities. But I still get to hate him. Yeah, I know. Did it in the car. What about the dog? Did it get fed? Did you Venmo Amanda yet? Done and done. Okay. Well, what do we do now then? How about we just enjoy the night before all hell breaks loose tomorrow? We haven't had any time away from the kids in months. Mm. Mm. Before that, I should probably check in with Harper and make sure Liam got back. God, Will, he either did or he didn't. I don't really care. Let's just enjoy the three fucking hours alone while we have it. Uh, I know, it'll just take one second for me to check in. Just, I just need to mentally prepare for this, okay? One second. All right. I still want a shoulder rub in that master bedroom or I'm gonna be pissed. But first, make me a drink. I'm gonna need to spend this entire weekend in a stupor if you expect me not to blow my brains out. And I know you can hear me, so thank you in advance.
Who are we here for? Would you fall asleep during briefing again? Well, if I paid attention, what would I need you for? Stephanie Adams, Caucasian, early 40s. Journalist out of Jersey. She was kidnapped last month while doing a story in Kabul. So what do they want for her? Mohammed Saeed. We're holding him back in the States. They want him released, even trade. <laughs> so they don't know that our boys killed that raghead piece of shit two weeks ago? Nope. <laughs> Great. So are we just gonna find a pile of blonde goat food in this fucking cave? Probably. You hungry? <laughs> Cute. Yeah, watch my ass. Yeah, I already had my eyes on it. Liam, Liam, lights. One towel head tucker down. Let's check that in. Eyes up, amigo. I'm on it. You're safe, man. I got you. We're here to get you out of here. I'm gonna cut the restraints on your feet. I'm gonna need to pull you up and shift you so I can get to your hands, okay? Let's go, Liam. All right. We got at least one on the way in here. Are there any more? Um, there's at least two more out there. Maybe three today. On delay. Yeah, yeah, I got you. What you're gonna do, you're gonna follow me. We're gonna get you out of here. You're gonna hold on to my pack. And do not let go no matter what happens, do you understand? What are you gonna do? Hold on to your pack and don't let go. For any reason. For any reason. Liam, let's right. go! Let's go. Come here. Stay behind me. Grab onto my pack. What do you say? I'm going back in. I don't want to go back in there. Look, what do you say? Radio for the chopper. Cover the entrance until it gets here, yeah? We didn't clear the cave, Will. There might be more of them fuckers in there, and there might be other exits. All right. Okay, Stephanie, why don't you wait over here? Sarge, come in.
Thank you so much, Mr. Tally. You just call me Will. I didn't think I'd ever see daylight again. How did you find me? We'll answer all your questions when we get you to a safe place, okay? Chopper should be here pretty soon. Carter's the best pilot we have. I'll have you back in New Jersey before bedtime. Will there be food on the plane? Private jet. You can order whatever you want. Anything I want. Whatever you want. Prime filet and vanilla agave yogurt. Okay. I don't know what the fuck agave yogurt is, but uh, done and done. <laughs> I'll even let you pick out the chef. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Okay. It's going to be a while before that chopper arrives, so uh, why don't you lay down, get some rest, maybe even get some sleep. I'll wake you up when it gets here. It's all right, you're safe now. Thank you. Liam? Liam! Just stay there. I'm good. I was the last of them. It's okay. You're okay. Just get some rest.
You're back. Where did you go? Had to go cool off. Where did you sleep? Are you going to talk to Will today? I'm not going to force you, but it would mean a lot to me if you did. I know. Let's go see him. I'd like to put some things to bed myself. Worse than Liam. You want to save the frags for Amir? Amir skipped town two days ago. I don't care what intel Sarge handy this morning. He's probably fine dining by candlelight with his favorite goat while we're out here jerking our fucking cranks. Probably is blowing that fucking goat right now, but regardless, the orders remain the same. We cleared the town with leftover. Pick enough leftovers at this point. If you want to shack up these sand monkeys, be my guest. I need a cold beer and a good tugging. If you're nice, I'll let you do the tugging. <laughs> Call in a Sarge, come here, Sarge. The town is dead, no sign of a mirror. These beekeepers and kids we sent on their merry way, waiting for orders. So quiet out here, I could practically hear a mouse get a fucking heart on. Liam? You wanna help me out? I'm getting nailed like a cheap whore down here. Do you have a shot? Negative. I can't see you, Benji, or where the gunfire is coming from. Either draw them out to the other end, or you're on your own, amigo. Town is dead, huh? Arrogant prick. Liam, they got Benji. I think I got the last one, but I don't know. There could be some more Hajis out here I don't know about. We're gonna need you to walk me through, all right? Carve a path for me. You're clear and move. Take the street to your right. And walk faster. A bullet in your leg has you moving like an old man, soldier. Just give me a break, all right? Is there anything else out here, or am I just wasting my time? I'd like to get the fuck out of here as soon as possible. I saw one of them towel heads fucking run into a building, but I haven't seen him come out. And there could be more that I missed. Nine o'clock. <laughs> Was that him? Negative. He's still out there. Watch that fucking ass of yours. I know I am. All right, what do you say we get the fuck out of here? I'm running dangerously low on ammo. We can come back tomorrow with proper coverage. Hang on, there's still one of them out there. If we leave anyone breathing, Sarge will have our asses, and I'm not in the mood for it. Sure he was armed? Does it really fucking matter, Will? Alright. East End is clear. I'm in the village now. What do you say we pack it up and get the fuck out of here, yeah? 
Seems pretty quiet. Wait, wait, wait. I see him. Where? On your six, and go left, slowly. Almost done. Any explosives on him? Negative. Take the shot as soon as you see him. Do you have a clean shot? Not at my angle. You're gonna have to take him yourself, bud. I'll walk you through. That's right. Let him come to you. Is he armed? I think I saw a gun in his hands. You think? Take the shot as soon as you see him. Take the shot. Where's the gun, Liam? Where's the gun, Liam? Check his right hand. There's nothing in his right hand. There's no guns, there's no explosives, there's nothing but a dead fucking kid here that I just killed. I saw a gun in his hand. The bullshit you did! Pack it up, soldier. Let's get out of here. You son of a bitch. You said he was armed. If he didn't have a gun this time, then he'd have one next time. We had to take him out before he got to the next village. Fuck! Orders are orders. Fuck you, Liam. We don't have orders to kill anyone we see. We don't have orders to kill fucking kids. I could have picked up this kid with one arm and taken him back to base ourselves. Back it up, soldier. Let's get out of here. Bitch. You see this arm? I'm calling Broderick for a ride back to base. You find your own way back to camp, you fucking asshole. Sorry. I, I get it. Don't want to embarrass you in front of your boy. Hi! Hi. Uh, I'm Harper. Officially. Well. I got this for you. Thank you. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, well, uh, um, uh, why don't you guys come inside? Yeah. Thank you. Jess is making some appetizers in the kitchen. It's beautiful in here. For Christ's sakes. You two are best friends for like eight years. You can't think of one word to say. <clears throat> Liam, why don't we go grab a drink? Uh, we can catch up and uh, the ladies can stay back here and chat. Yeah. Great. Hi. Um, I'm Harper, by the way. Charmed. Bottoms up, Harper. You ever been to Reno? Mm -hmm. I haven't heard from you since we left Afghanistan. What have you been up to? Why'd you agree to see me? You're still pissed at me, aren't you? Yeah, I am. But you know what? Let's just forget about that for today. Okay, I'm here now and I agreed to see you, right? I've apologized a number of times. Yeah, but you never really meant it. Look, you needed help. You weren't all there. You still need help. I don't need any of your charity. Harper gives me enough. Okay. Look, why don't we grab a drink, okay? It's on me. Or better yet, on you. If you don't want my charity, I'll take yours, amigo. Fucking dick. So, what are you doing for work now? 
nothing really. I chose Tahoe to settle into because I'm pretty lucky at the tables, usually. Harper seems like a nice girl. A lot nicer than all the hookers and whores used to hang out with. Where's you meet her? At the beach. Beach? You want to elaborate a little? Well, you're saying some random woman just walked up to you on the beach and struck up a conversation? Yeah. Come on, man. <clears throat> I swear, Will, that's exactly what happened. Why don't you pack your bags, go back to your perfect wife, your high paying job, and go play with your perfect fucking kids? How do you know I have a high paying job and kids? Don't you? Please, ladies first. What do you say? Want at the table? <laughs> you gonna spot me? Usually, I have luck at the tables. My luck's a little dry. All right. Not too confident today, huh? Well, speak up, soldier. All that gunfire's made me fucking deaf. So I got a couple hours before we need to get back to the house, so... Let's go grab a smoke or something. You seem like a really sweet and sharp girl, so I'm kind of surprised you won't acknowledge all of these fucking red flags. Uh, well, I'm not perfect either, so... But you're better. You're good enough for better. Can I ask, what's so wrong with Liam? He's just adjusting to this new world back home and... I just don't know what's so bad about him. Jesus, Hunt, how old are you again? <sighs> You'll see soon enough. What happened to Liam and Will? A violation of trust, to say the least. Will suggested that Liam like, saved his life? That's also true, but Liam was just doing his job. That was the only thing he was ever good at. That one job. And now, it's gone. So, what good is he? I'm sorry, sweetie. I just feel responsible for letting you know what Liam is really capable of. I don't know how serious you two are, but it sounds like you don't even know him very well. I mean, what do you two even have in common? Um, I don't know. I have nothing. And Liam has Nothing, nothing. So we kind of bonded over that. Well, if you two end up together, then you'll have each other. Then you and he won't have nothing anymore, right? Which means you won't have anything in common. So then what? I don't know, a house, a kid, a normal fucking life. What's wrong with that? You just don't get it, do you, Harper? God. I guess not. Look, I wouldn't be here right now if I didn't think you were capable of better things. And what you did to me was shitty. And on most days I can lie to myself and say it was an accident, but I know it really wasn't. The truth of the matter is I wasn't making it out of there without your help. I know I owe you. You don't owe me anything. I was doing my duty as a soldier. What, are you saying you never give a shit about me now? Is that it? <laughs> I'm sorry I'm the blemish on your perfect fucking existence. You got out. You got out of that hellhole and you did better than anybody. It's like years of fucking killing people and fucking hookers and living out of a tent did nothing to sour your outlook on the rest of your life. 
How did you do it? What's your secret? Well, is this some kind of jealousy thing for you? Were you just bitter you got the short end of the stick in the mental health food sticks? Fuck you. Don't you miss it? You are so clean. You're so proper with Harper. Look at you and your shiny watch and your patterned shirt and your fucking hair product. What happened to you? Where's the will that I knew? The one who wanted to buy me a beer and talk about the whore we tag team the night before, not give me some fucking lecture on life. That's the guy I'd welcome back into my world. That's the guy I saved. But I guess I don't measure up to your success, so fuck Liam. Let's throw him a pity party and get him back on his feet so we can say we did our good fucking deed for the day. I know you miss it, you have to. Deep down, I know you do. You might have your wife and everybody else convinced, but you're not fooling me. And you can't fool yourself either, buddy. Good evening, thanks for joining us. There is currently an extremely heavy police presence in West Reno in response to a shooting. How'd it go? As bad as I expected? Uh, it went all right. He's still a little upset with me, but at least he didn't get drunk and make too big a scene. He's upset with you. It's complicated. You talked to Harper? Mm. She has her head in the clouds. Oh, what else is new? He should probably have a talk with her. The hell am I going to say to her? I don't know. Think of something. She's a good girl. She just needs someone to hold her hand through this. <laughs> she almost broke down in front of me earlier. I didn't really know what to do, so I kind of just scolded her and walked out of the room. What? We have two suspects that have been shot. We have two officers that were involved in. Why don't you wear your wedding ring? Yeah, we never wore rings out on the field. Uh, either get lost or stolen. Or Caught on equipment. All happens to die hard, I guess. Jess understands. Makes sense. Um, thanks again, by the way, for coming all the way up here. I know it's not easy and you and Jess are really busy. Yeah, well, I think it's the best for everyone involved, especially Liam. Yeah, he came back in such a good mood. The bar was fun. What do you expect to get out of this, Harper? Why does everyone keep asking me that? I just... I just want to hang out with who I want to hang out with. Because I know Liam. If he's happy one hour, he's going to be extra angry the next. It's this weird balancing act he does, and he's always falling off the wire. Yeah. If you really care about him, you'll get him some professional help. Yeah, we don't really have money for that right now. Don't worry about the money, okay? Do some research, you know, find someone good in your area, facilitate it, and I'll wire you the money. Just don't tell Jess. Are you serious? Yeah. <sighs> Thank you. It's gonna take an army to get him into that therapist's office, but it's possible. Right? Don't get discouraged. Yeah, I know. But you still haven't told me why you're really here. When I called on Liam's behalf, you seemed really annoyed. But you're still here. Still trying to figure that out myself. <clears throat> you know, I think I saw some board games in the living room. Why don't we all just make ourselves a drink, relax, and play some games, all right? I think we all need it. Yeah. Yeah. No, we should party. Lighten up a little bit. It's like, it's like a funeral out there, so. Let's do it. Oh, let's do it. Okay. Okay, I, I, got, I, got, I just gotta tell this story. Do you remember that time we're headed back to base and we got this tip? 
I gotta tell this story. So there's one time, right? Yeah. Me and Liam are returning back to base, <gasps> and we get a tip. Okay. And we find this hideout, right? So we get there, we low ring from the ceiling. So now we're stuck in this clay hut, right? Yeah. Middle of the night, you can hear a fucking pin drop. And Liam and I already depleted all our ammunition earlier in the day, and extraction's a full mile out. So now, I peek my head around the corner, what do I see? Half a dozen Taliban, sound asleep with a rocket launcher in their hands. So now, panic sets in. We're pissing ourselves. What do we do? There's one way out of this little shit, almost through a tiny back door in the back. The one room all these guys are fucking sleeping in, of course, <laughs> right? So Liam and I start tiptoeing across this little dirt floor praying they don't wake up. And all of a sudden, I have to sneeze. I'm twisting, I'm crossing my legs, I'm banging on the walls. <laughs> I'm about to blow, right? Liam sees this, he covers my mouth as fast as he can. Crisis averted, I catch my breath. Everything's good. Okay, there's the door, let's do this. We continue to go to the door. I make it one step out that door when Liam lets loose the most vile, grotesque, <laughs> nasty ass fucking fart I've ever heard in my entire life. I mean, this thing sounded like machine gun fire coming from across the valley. So now the jig is up, right? I turn over my shoulder, and all these fucking guys are loading up every weapon they can get their hands on, including the goddamn rocket launcher. We bolt out the door, we're zigzagging down this field as fast as we can, and I smell my fucking hair on fire. The rocket misses my head by about that much and ends up in a fucking hillside about 100 yards in front of me. Needless to say, I shit my fucking pants <laughs> and Liam's laughing his ass off all the way to extraction. <laughs> I hate that fucking story. Did that really happen? All right, let's get back to the game. Next question. First one to respond takes the lead on the board. Name the date and location where Osama bin Laden was declared dead by U.S. forces. Winter 2011. Abbottabad, Pakistan, May 2nd, 2011. Oh. Liam takes it. Well, just think for a second before you blurt out your answer. Okay, can we pick a different category? I'm never gonna get any of these. The boys like war. Who received the Medal of Honor in the war in Afghanistan? Jared Christopher Monty, killed in action in 2006 in the Nuristan province, Afghanistan. Dude. You didn't finish the fucking question, Liam. Finish the question, honey. That was the whole question. Bullshit. <laughs> Will, you didn't know the answer. Yeah, well, I don't lose. You do this time. Fuck it, 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 fuck it. You fucking serious right now? Mm hmm. This fucking game is rigged. Alright. Fuck it. Fuck it, 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 fuck it! Alright, Will, that is it, you were cut off. Fuck it. Will, give it. Mm -hmm. Give me the cup. I'm, give not, me I'm the, not fucking done yet. Give me the fucking cup, Will. Clean this up. I'm going to bed.
can't believe you did that. What the fuck were you thinking? I know, I'm sorry, but... Do you see the look on Liam's face? He's so fucking cool. It's like he's rubbing it in. Ooh, so he's better at a fucking board game than you. Get over it. I said I'm sorry, okay? I'll clean it up tomorrow. You know how badly I don't want to be here. I know. I'll be on my best behavior from here on out, okay? You better be. Hey, Jess. What? This is like the first time in six months we've been away from the kids. So? So? I know you thought it was kind of hot when I throw those board pieces in Liam's face. Admit it. A little bit. Yeah. Mm hmm What do you want, Liam? You left the air conditioning on. Do you want me to turn it off? No, leave it on. Why don't you shut the door on your way out? Have you ever been discarded like a piece of trash, Harper? Um... Yeah. Once or twice. How about never being appreciated when you were at your best? Uh, most of the time. What is this about? Will had over ten times as many kills as me when we were overseas. Usually I would spot for him, but every now and again I got to be on the trigger. I was just as good though. I believe you. He's killed way more people than me. Way more. And it just doesn't seem to be affecting him. His wife, his kids, his job. You'd never suspect a thing. People suffer differently in private. You don't know what goes on behind closed doors. I fucking hate him. Will is not your enemy. Who is then, Harper? <sighs> if not him, who is my enemy? Why do you always do that? Why are you always seeking out conflict? You don't see what that does to you? I didn't do anything. I never do anything. Things are always being done to me. And I'm tired. Okay. But look, sometimes you just have to create your own opportunities. Like, why I went and talked to you on the beach that day? You certainly weren't going to come and talk to me. But it's going to be okay. It is. How do you know? B 
because you have me. Come on. Coffee? Looks like you need it. I don't know how you guys do this. It's like 6 a.m. We have kids. So, uh, do you guys know where Liam went? Or? I don't know. He was gone when I woke up this morning. Probably just went for a morning jog or something. <laughs> that man needs to work on his communication skills.
at first, the city of Reno held a virtual town hall to discuss the proposed plans. Tragedy strikes downtown Reno today where an unidentified sniper positioned on the top floor of the parking garage at Circus Circus shot and killed 12 people on the streets below. Police and SWAT teams responded quickly but were unable to apprehend the shooter. Surveillance footage shows a man in his 30s, around 6 foot 2, 190 pounds, dressed in full military garb, walking through the parking garage carrying a large bag. A massive manhunt is currently underway as police still believe the shooter is at large and in the Reno area. We will continue to cover this story as more information comes in. Officials are advising people to avoid the area until further notice. We send it over now to Alexander Ray, who's live at the scene. Alexander, what can we tell us so far? Don't do it, Jess. We did move the very active scene a little earlier tonight. Come on. Now we can yeah. see the police did confirm that earlier there was about 60 different police officers from different agencies that were local. Now we can also say if there was an active shooting that You've been waiting for this moment for a long time, bro. Access to the apartment, but they believe the second floor right now. Let's get this over with. We responded and the shooting took place. And we've got two suspects. life can be perfect. You know you fucking won't be happy until you do it. Just fucking do it. You fucking know you won't do it. Will, please. No. Will, please. Do it, Will. Fucking do it. Do it. Will, do it. Will you throw that thing away? It makes me sick to my stomach. This is all I have left of them. Good. I should probably say goodbye to Harper. Let's just get out of town, Will. The girl is hopeless. Hopeless. I feel like I owe it to her. Jesus. Did we not learn our lesson already with this I owe him bullshit? Five minutes, okay? Just hurry up.
new habit? Well, if it's a race to the finish line, I intend to win. Why are you here? Just got back from the police station. They're finally letting me and Jess go back home. Just wanted to stop by and say goodbye. And um, I wanted to give you this. What the hell's this? Something I've been holding on to for a while. I don't really need it anymore. Thought maybe you might want it. I don't. I don't know what you ever saw in them. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't really know what I saw in him anymore either. Who knows, maybe I'm just the fucking crazy one. <coughs> Look, I gotta get back to work. The police are coming back by any minute now. And I have to give another statement. You're gonna be okay. Yeah. You know, I've been hearing that a lot lately. Maybe that's my takeaway from all of this shit. I'm gonna be just okay. I'm always going to be just okay. Bye, Will. doing? Uh, she'll be okay. Everything will be okay, Will. You're a hero. Always have been. Still are. Yeah. I sure feel like one. 